Today Paul's cooking chicken parmigiana with fresh pasta. We have a plum tomato marinara on this side and on this one we have a truffle, truffle porcini, porcini and cream mm. sauce. Oh. Hey YouTubers, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to the Ken and Paul Cook and Review. How you doing, Paul? I'm doing very well, thank you. All right, what are we doing today, buddy? We're doing chicken parmigiana, but we're gonna make some fresh pasta with it. I and can't we, wait. We have some uh, products we're gonna uh, try out. Which one are we gonna use? I think we're gonna use this one on the chicken. Okay. And then I'm gonna let you pick which one, because we were talking about- I want the truffle. The tr yeah, so I think we'll do yeah. the truffle on the fresh pasta. So I got a couple of things pre prepped up ahead of time. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with making the pasta noodle first because it's gonna have to rest in the fridge for about a half an hour and while that's going then we'll get onto the chicken. So we'll do it in stages back and forth. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I got a cup of flour, but I think I'm gonna, because the kids and my wife are waiting, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna make extra. So I'm gonna do with two cups. This'll take a bit more time. Fresh pasta will never go to waste. It won't go to waste. So two cups of uh, flour. Yeah. So I'm gonna take two eggs. So you're gonna make, you, make, you wanna make a well in there. So the, the actual mixture, if you look online or you're looking up recipes, it's one cup, one egg, pinch of salt. Some add a touch of oil or water if right. needed. A little bit of love. So I'm just gonna lightly beat. Nice. Ooh. And then using the fork, we're gonna start to mix it up. Pulling it in. You don't want to break it. You don't want to break, break the wall. You don't want to break the wall because then it'll That's start right. leaking out and it'll be like, uh, oh, what's happening here? You can use your fingers. It just makes it a bit easier with the fork. It won't be as messy. And as, as it mixes in, you can start bringing it in more. And eventually you won't need the wall. It'll, it'll hold together. Yeah. And then you want to knead it for a few minutes. And then once it's, it's kneaded properly, I was actually originally going to use the machine there. And I was like, you know what? Let's just, this, yeah, is, this is sort of the classic. <laughs> Machine's always fast. So approximately two pinch. I could have opened up and used salt, the pinches, but that looks about one pinch. Yeah, we discussed that we we're going to use the mixer, and then you're doing it this way. I'm like, yeah, and then okay, I'm like, you know what? Why are you doing it this way? Why be so lazy? That's true. So just working it in. Once it's, you can see it's starting to mix good. Huh? It's, it's not dry. running anymore. No, your walls. So are now my yeah, the walls can come down. The levy. The levy broke. The levy broke. As I'm pushing it down, it's almost like when I do the pizza dough too, I'm, I'm, I'm forcing the moist dough onto the flour and I'm just folding it over and I'm bringing the sides back in. Like that, and it's just forcing the flour into it. By the time you're finished, all that flour will and be just, in uh, it. Pretty much? Pretty much. Working it. Work, 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 work. <laughs> but if you feel it starting to get dry and still a lot, you can do is all of a little touch of oil to bring it in, or cold water, like a tablespoon or two of cold water to bring it all in. I can see that being really Because right now, yeah, that. see now it's, it's you can see it's dry. And the eggs are different grades. Like you have large, extra large, so depending on the size, but usually rule of thumb, one cup, one egg and then possibly a tablespoon of water. But there are different size eggs that can mess you up. So, but this is your, this is your, a solution to a dry problem. I'm gonna put just a touch. So I wanna bring in, I wanna use up my flour but I can reserve some flour for what I don't use for when I'm rolling this out afterwards. Right. Of course, if you use too much liquid, then you can just put more yeah, you flour can see, in. Yeah. See, now I've added the, the water a little bit and you see it's, it's gone more doughy again. And I'm just gonna blend it in. And then whatever flour I've left, I'm gonna save for when I roll it out. consistency you're looking for. Well you see it's 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 not sticky now on my hands and it's, it's binding together so it has some elasticity to it now. See? Nice. And then what we want to 
want to do is I'm going to take, I'm just going to get my hands a quick wash there. I'm going to coat a little bit of oil and put it in saran wrap and I leave it in the fridge for a minimum of a half an hour. And that just prevents it from sticking to the paper, I mean, for the plastic? Or? And from drying out. And from drying out. Like that. Turn it over. Nice. It's almost the size of a baseball. This is for the breading? touch of water in mine. Just I've to noticed that. A few things you've done, you've always added water to it. Yeah, because it coats, I find it easier to coat. And we have breadcrumbs. So while that's sitting there, I'm gonna get the oil heating. So I put oil in a shallow pan. You get that going. So what we're gonna do is we get the chicken going. We're gonna cook the chicken. We're gonna heat up the sauces. We're gonna get water boiling. And then this, we're gonna get the, uh, in the time we're doing this, Get the pasta out in a half an hour. I'll keep track of the time. We'll take it out, roll it out, we'll be ready to boil it. Is, is the half hour specific or you can leave it in longer? You can leave it in longer. Okay. Yeah, half hour to an hour, but you, need, you want it to rest. It has to rest for a minimum of a half hour, but you yeah. could leave it in there for longer. Yeah. Got it. I pre-marinated some chicken to save time. So this has uh, oil, paprika, uh, salt and pepper, lemon juice, oregano and garlic. You don't have to do, like you can just use plain this is just going to add some flavor to what we're doing. Because um, that looks amazing. And as it smell like you, you, yeah. you're standing here and all you can smell is this chicken has been married and you're just like, oh, that is delicious. So, I mean, you can take a chicken breast. We've butterflied these to make them thinner. Um, you can just use salt and pepper. But this is obviously the way to go. This is, this is delicious. Make sure she's coated. Um, if I'm doing a big batch, uh, use both hands because you'll notice you'll get, you'll get breadcrumbs stuff clumping on your hands. It's easier to switch. No, oh, okay. So one for wet, one for dry. Makes sense. Then it doesn't clump up on your hands. Got it. How's it looking, Ken? It's looking amazing, sir. Mm -hmm. Time to cook. Oh, mm. that smells amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Just always be careful setting stuff in when you're dealing with oil. I think we talked about before about splashing and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Plus you can cause a fire. <laughs> I could see that hurting. We don't have to cook it all the way through because we'll be heating sauce and then finishing it in the oven with cheese and that. And you can... Right. But this will pretty much cook them all the way. Mm, that smells delicious. Oh boy. That beautiful mix. You definitely don't want to overcook it because it will won't look yeah, as it's, pretty. It's really gentle. You don't want the breading coming off. You want it to stay a little firm up there. And it certainly smells good. My goodness. I'm going to preheat the oven. I'm going to put the 400. Which one's this going to be for? Well, I'm going to use this one for the chicken. Okay. Uh, plum and I just wanted like a, a plain marinara. Oh, that smells good. And then this one we talked about chocolate porcini and cream. We're going to use this one on the pasta. Right. Well, I keep thinking that you're going to put the pasta down with the chicken on top and then sauce on top. No, I'm going to do it on this. Oh. It's going to be on the side. I can smell the truffle. Oh my gosh. So we're gently left out. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that's good. on the simmer. Just put on low. Paul just sampled uh, both sauces and uh, <laughs> he apparently really, really, really liked the truffle one. Uh, it blew his it mind was, uh, a little bit. It is really good. Yeah. Really nice. And and it's funny because it's, it's it does have a really, really fresh taste, like a homemade. And let me see the jar again. Which one you want? This one? Yeah, sure. Because you, you can really, when you open up, you, 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 you pick out the truffle right away. You're just like, wow. Smell up. If you've never had truffle before, you got to try this. 
in that way you'll always know what truffle tastes you'll like. You'll know the taste. You'll know the taste. Paul's taking off the last three. Listen, what that said. Chicken. Boy, oh boy. I thought that would cook a little longer to see what I am. As you're moving, well, we should probably have, yeah, we should probably have a glass of wine. What wine did you get today, Paul? I don't know. <laughs> I was just red. It's just red. I was drinking it. Actually, it's really good wine. We were drinking it last night. It was not, you can tell we almost killed the bottle. So you only get a splash. We'll have to, uh, when we have our uh, meal, I'll open up another bottle. But I, I like that. Else. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I used to hate red wine. Really? Like, I loved white wine. White wine. And then over time, I, I don't like uh, white anymore, but love red. Mmm, tasty. This is very nice. It is very good. Paul found a dish to put all six uh, chicken breasts on there. And what's, what are you going to do next? We're going to put some sauce on it because this is going to go in the oven. So what we can do is I'm going to put this uh, plum tomato marinara on top. Oh, it smells divine. Oh, boy. So we're in for a treat again, aren't we? Yes. Wow. Put it all on, man. Well, we're going to use it all. Don't waste any. And there's a little bit too much in there, so... <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. Mm. But people figured it out. Oh. Wow, dude. That should be in a magazine. I'm just going to sprinkle some... I had leftover cheese. Usually it's uh, mozzarella. But we use what we have some parmesan. Freshly grated Freshly. parmesan. So we're gonna take a slight break. <laughs> <laughs> and the next we'll be rolling out the pasta, mm. letting it dry a bit, we'll be cooking it. This will be going in the oven. We'll have it all timed so it comes out perfectly together. Let's do it. Mm. So 30 minutes is up, time to get the noodles. Oh. Or the dough, I guess. Yeah, it's not a noodle yet. It's not a noodle yet. It will be. What we should do is while we're doing this, we should Which be drinking this? some. Bon I don't pears. know. I don't know. I just, I just <laughs> grabbed it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, okay, let's roll it. And that pasta. was this one. Cabernet Sauvignon. 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 Look at that beautifulness. Oh, nice. I'm just gonna set that right down on there. So it coats, and I'm gonna give it a turn. Almost looks like a giant brie. It does. Beautiful. Big huge chunk of cheese. It's a big cheese ball. But actually it's a pasta dough ball. So it's good to have a lot of flour because you want this to be dry. So you're gonna see what's gonna happen. What we're gonna do with this bad boy. Just cut it in half and have two. Well, huge I'm, gonna, noodles. I'm gonna have to because <laughs> No, I'm just like cut it in half and cook it like that. Uh no. Big huge gonna, noodle. I'm gonna show you a trick. Okay. It's not really a trick, but it's just Trick of the trade? Sure. Because you see how thick this is now. We're gonna this, we're gonna roll this down really thin. So this is gonna end up. I don't even. I'll, I'll probably have to cut it. It'll probably be easier to roll too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Oh. oh. I'm just gonna set one on a plate. I'm not gonna put roll because I want this to be dry now. I'm just gonna push back on there. Because the the press makes it so easy because you're taking strips and you're just putting it through and every time you put it through it thins, 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 whereas it's extremely slow. Slow and tedious. And at one point it, it does like, how many noodles in a row? Like when uh, you- The like, blade? Yeah, like you put the blade in and it just does all um, the noodles? It's probably getting to about four or five inches wide and then each strip would be- Just curious. Five centimeter kind of. Right. Well, it has different, like it has different cuts on it, like it does, the one I have, it has, it has a fettuccine and a spaghetti noodle. But you can do different press, like different dyes for it that cuts the different noodles. Cool. Mm -hmm. You ever seen the people that hand toss the noodles? Like the, the Japanese or Chinese when they they make it go up and down and, they make, and then they fold it and it turns into spaghetti noodles? You ever seen that? No. I'm, I'm curious as to where you saw it. Uh, it was in a movie called... Uh, a noodle maker? They, no, they called me Bruce. Oh! oh! Now we gotta, we gotta, we gotta clean. Hang on. Okay. 
Okay, the catastrophe. So we is... had a minor accident. The wine has been cleaned. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take yes. We're gonna we're gonna speed this up because we're drinking wine and we're having accidents. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you. I did run down. That was a totally normal accident. You had the yeah. I, I had the, uh, the bowling pin in your hand. I had a rolling <laughs> pin and I was trying to drink wine. So we're gonna do is so this is our press. So you're gonna start on the first setting, and you see as it comes out, it's gonna compress. I've already partially rolled this out, yeah. but you're gonna put the, the strands of pasta through, and you're gonna go on each one. And you and can it, clamp this down, but Paul doesn't have a proper yeah, sink so, or, or counter. And this will, this is to bring it down to the size that you want, like the thickness of your pasta. So you just go through each size of the roller. And obviously- It's a multi-process. Situation. Well, it goes through one side, and then we're going to switch, and then and there's the cutters. Right. From the same. And obviously, it's a lot easier if you clamp it down too. So I'm just going to show you here. So look at that. Look at that noodle now. That is one thin noodle. Okay. Look at long. It's like a, It's almost like a skate. A, a snake a skin. Yeah, a snake skin. So what happens now? We're going to roll them all out. I'm just going to show you on the fettuccine side. So you start the same thing. Wait. That's one noisy machine. Yeah. I think it needs some oil. I don't think I've used it in a wow. while. So look at so you're gonna break it up. So what you can do is you take a floured surface and you want the noodles all because you want this to dry out now. Right. So would you get a bowl and throw it in the flour or uh, I find it, it dries out faster if it's on a cutting board. Like done with, like oh, mixing okay. with a bit of flour and it's, it's left out. Uh, some places will actually, uh, a quick way to dry is take a, a, slot, a, a spoon across chairs and hang it over. Oh, I, I've and actually seen that dry. before. I'm not sure where, but so I've here seen. you can just kind of pull it apart. So we're gonna do is we're gonna make all the noodles and we're just gonna, and then once this is done, I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna bring the noodles out with a bit of flour, let it dry for a bit, and it'll be ready to throw in. Okay, my turn. It looked like too much fun. Paul's having way too much fun. There's a lot of work here to be done. I just so. want to get back to drinking wine. Turn it the other way. Turn the other way. So I would have figured out. Yeah, this is really difficult, eh? That's why you were doing it this way. Yes, because you'll see it feed through. Okay, I've got it. Mm. And then you're just to pull yep. this out, turn yep. it one notch. Take it out, yeah, lift it, it'll slide out. It's on a spring. I'm trying. Yeah, there you go, there and then turn it, yeah. Okay, now it's made it now thinner, right? Yes. I was gonna start drinking your wine. <laughs> there you go, Ken. You All demand. right. You demand. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished the fettuccine noodles and now we're just waiting for them to dry. Way. We're just gonna leave it on the countertop. We're gonna let it dry a little bit. Okay. And you can see like we've infused some red wine in some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Accidente. Accidente. Nice. Let's throw this in the oven while we're waiting. Let's preheat it to 400. Oh, oh yeah. We're gonna have that in there for about 20 minutes. Mmm. Okay Paul, is it noodle time? <laughs> <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> Yes, so we got a bit of oil, salt. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Whoop. Let's throw it all in there, one big Let's heat. throw it all in there. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. And the Parmesan the chicken. Sauce. Look at that beauty. Oh my gosh. So I've got the broiler set just because I want to brown it just a touch. So this will only take a few minutes. This is pretty quick now. And how will you know if those noodles are done? They're pretty much done, right? <laughs> Almost right away. Right? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, forever. look at those beautiful things. See, that's ready now. Just gonna let that come to a quick boil and she will take it off. And I wanna put on, very well, I'm gonna set it on high. And this is already hot. That sauce is unbelievable. Mmm! Ken is so hot. Oh! Beautiful. Perfect! Mm. Set that like that for a second. Hey, clever. And I'm gonna put a touch of olive oil. And to stir it around, we'll just do this. And then look at that. Oh, oh it's bubbling. Oh my gosh, that smells unbelievable. Oh holy shit. Some fresh pasta here. The start of perfection, right there. I get more than that. Set that in there. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, my gosh. And that's how you do it. Mm. Ready to eat? I am. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are ready to eat. Oh my gosh, Paul, dude, this looks absolutely fantastic. Can I do the scratch? You can do the scratch. I'm gonna hold this for you. Just oh, because I keep spilling my wine. Scratch, sniff. Oh my gosh. Wait, 3D. The truffles, oh. the, the scent of the truffle is just, just coming up through my nasal this cavities. This is like heavenly right now. So what should I do with this lemon? Squeeze it on? Sure. Is Squeeze that what we're supposed on? to yeah. do with it? Squeeze it on and get that. Because I don't know. All over there. Oh my gosh. You put on your noodles too? I feel like I get everything. Okay. Oh. My hands are destroyed. I'm gonna dip oh. in both sauces because it's making me crazy. Because that, uh, the truffle, uh, it's just, I, oh. Mm. oh my gosh. Wow. I'm going in for the noodle bite. Homemade noodles. I don't think I've, I haven't had homemade noodles in a very, very long time. No. Wow. Mm. The noodles are perfection. That truffle sauce. I'm so glad out of all the jars that we got, I'm so glad you picked the truffle one because that is absolutely oh, dynamite. Unbelievable. But the way you did it is perfect. Having that off to the side, and then you can kind of like mix the sauces. Mix the here. sauces. Whoopsie. Oh. And so, what do you think of the uh, the Italian plum tomato sauce? Delicious. It's fantastic. It do honestly does taste like a you you made that too. It, it's like it tastes like a fresh homemade. It tastes like a fresh marinara homemade. sauce. Yeah. Plum tomato. The chicken is cooked to perfection. The breading is awesome. The marinara and the cheese on top with the uh, Parmesan grated cheese. <laughs> it's just, I can't stop eating. I feel like I'm in marathon. <laughs> to Paul. Mm. Oh, I buddy. Mm. You and uh, Mazetta make a good combination. Mm. Well, here's the thing. People always we get comments on, you know, why are you doing this if you're a chef, like cutting corners or are you right. doing this. A lot of times people come home, and yes, there is variations. There's things you can do from scratch. Like obviously the noodles took time. A lot of time. You need yeah. time to let it rest in the fridge. Um, but if people, if you're coming home, try it sometime. Like try and see the difference when you make fresh pasta and the difference that you're having. But some in making sauces and then... That's the best pasta you'll ever have right there. And a lot of people, even like friends I know they're chefs, they they buy pre-done stuff and throw it because it's all about time. Yeah. Like the time to make a, a sauce. You're getting home, the kids are hungry. And you're like, oh, I want to eat right away. So you're throwing stuff together. You can do a mix, some fresh, some some store bought. It's what you what you have time to do and what you want to play with. And, and the two sauces that we use, I'd buy them again. <laughs> no problem. Me too. Delicious. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys. Paul and I are going to finish these off, and we'll be right back. Hang on. bumped a couple other uh, um, dinners you've made. <laughs> oh. this, this has jumped ahead of a couple of the dinners you've made. Would you agree? So good. <laughs> Just the work that went into it, the amazing sauces that we, we got to use today. So we got to use the Italian plum Definitely tomato, and that was for the Parmesan chicken. Extremely fresh taste. Yeah. I, 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 it was exactly as if somebody made it from their backyard. That's how good that was. But this? Yeah, that, that blew my mind. was the bomb. Yeah. I loved it. I'd definitely buy it again. Once again, Paul, you did an amazing job. Thank you very much, Mazetta, for sponsoring this video. Beautiful. Double thumbs up for you guys. I'm so glad we got to try these. It's really hard to find these in Canada, but whenever we visit the States, we'll be buying these and bringing them back to our families. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for sending, sending us these amazing jars of Mirador. wonder. Yes. <laughs> 
All right, guys, if you love these videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any Hang recipes. On, wait. What? I just want to lick my chops. Oh. <laughs> But if you love this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Ken and Paul out. Boop. Oh, cheers, bro. Cheers.